Rahim, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Alaihi Wasallam, for it today. Today we will study clauses, independent clause. The independent clause expresses a complete idea. That expresses a complete idea. And remains meaningful even when dependent clause, clause clauses are removed. Clear? It gives a complete idea. It gives complete meaning. Independent clause gives complete meaning. And it can stand alone. It can give it can give meanings alone. If we remove other clauses from it, even then it gives the meaning. That is the then there is subordinate class. Begins with a subordinating conjunction or subordinate conjunction. Okay, that starts with a subordinate conjunction and adds meaning. Add meaning to the independent class. Add meaning to the independent. A subordinate class cannot stand, it cannot stand alone, but this can stand alone. Independent class can stand alone, but subordinate or dependent class. Subordinate also means dependent class, DC I call it. Dependent class. Okay, that is I call it IC or PC principal class. There are two names. This is dependent class and this is SC. Also call it SC, subordinate class. Remember these you know abbreviations. And it will be quite easy for you to remember the dependent clause and independent clause, subordinate clause, principal clause, like this. Okay. Examples. He is the man who came for dinner last night. So this is if I put a full stop over here, it gives a complete meaning. It does not need this sentence to give its meaning. Okay. But this dependent clause is adding meaning, adding some meaning to it. Otherwise, it can stand alone. It can give meaning alone. Clear? If we put a full stop over here. Then if we capitalize this W, okay, and put a full stop over here, and put a full stop over here, last night, okay? <coughs> For example, we have put a full stop the last night. Okay? It gives meaning, but it does not give complete meaning. So that's the reason it is called subordinate class or dependent class. Because it, it is depending on this one. So you have got the concept of independent and dependent class. Next one, when the fog lifts, in winter season, especially in the summer season, in the summer, when the fog, okay, visibility is lower okay minimum visibility is there you, you cannot see the objects in the air you see dependent subordinate when the fog lives subordinate or dependent class maybe in the beginning maybe in the end aruba gate enter the plane will fly so it may come in the beginning it may come in the end both may come in the beginning and end there is no issue with that, okay? When the power lift, this is a dependent class, a subordinate class, the plane will fly. This is an independent class. Why it is an independent class? Because it does not depend on it to give meaning. Clear? This is just adding some extra meaning in this. That's it. Otherwise, it does not depend on this, okay? Next one, simple sentence. There are sentences. A simple sentence contains one finite verb. What is finite verb? That is related to time. First, second form. Finite verb has got first form, second form, and it is also related to time. For example, the Holy Quran gives guidance for success. So gives has got second form. What is the second form of give? Gave. Third form? Given. Given. Clear? That's the reason. It is a finite verb. And if there is a finite verb in sentence, means it's a simple sentence. Okay? Next one, compound sentence. A compound sentence has at least two finite 
verbs and two clauses joined by a coordinating addition. Okay. For example, this is rank one finite verb. What is the first form of rank? Ring. Ring. Rank. Rank. Clear? It has got second form and third form. Rank. Clear? Again, finite verb. F. B. Next one. There is a finite verb. How many forms are there? Came. Three forms. Come, came, come. Clear? So it has got two finite verbs and one which was which conjunction? He was talking about a coordinating conjunction. This is a CC coordinating conjunction. Okay. So last year I told you about the easy way to remember coordinating conjunction. And boys. Fanboys, F, F stands for? For. For. A stands for? And. 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 Nor. Nor. B. But. But. And O. Or. Or. Why. Yet. Why. Yet. S. 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 So. 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 That's it, okay? Complex sentences. Then there are complex sentences. Okay, did you get the understanding of it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What is a compound sentence? It has two independent clauses, two or more independent, both are independent clauses. A compound sentence has got two or more independent clauses. Clear? That is a compound sentence. And complex sentence has one independent clause, one independent clause, and one or more subordinated clauses are dependent clauses. Peter watched television. It's a complete, giving a complete sense, okay, it's an independent clause. Then there is a conjunction, subordinating conjunction. His friends read their lessons. Then there is dependent clause. If we add this while his friends read their lessons, it becomes a dependent clause. Clear? So, a complex sentence it has got one independent clause and one or more there may be another one clause okay like this or maybe one more okay one clause one dependent clause that's it okay so this is the definition of complex sentence if you have any question or queries you may ask me right now or uh, you may ask me online <coughs> in comment section thank you very much have a nice time Allah.